Good morning from the Lofoten. We start our discovery in the town of Aar, which is also the beginning of the road which stretches all over the Lofoten Islands. The European road E10 connects the large island of Lofoten with bridges and undersea tunnels. And our next stop is Reine, which is located on a little island of the bigger Moskines Island. Picturesque spot. The Lofoten Islands are characterized by their mounds and peaks, sheltered inlets and stretches of seashore, which make for an incredible road trip. If you were wondering if the Lofoten Islands have nice beaches, yes, they indeed have. This is Ramberg Stranda. Over there is Ramberg, and this is basically the beach of Ramberg. Fascinated by these pristine beaches, we were hungry for more and made our way to a place which is known for its surf. We made it! We're at the beach now! We're in Unstadt. It's which, so nice! Which is actually like the hotspot for surfing. <laughs> Alright, waves are a little bit too big for us, so we decided to go with the world's best cinnamon buns instead. Unstadt Arctic Surf is the hub for cold water surfers of the Lofoten. Indeed, the founders were the first ones to catch waves up here. Today, the Lofoten attracts well-known surfers from all around the world. The next spot we are stopping by is called Nusfjord. It's a little fishing village right at this tiny fjord here. Very, very picturesque. Nusfjord is often regarded as one of the oldest and best preserved fishing villages in Norway and was once home to more than 1,500 fishermen. Many of the old buildings related to the fishing industry have been renovated and taken care of, and today many buildings can be visited. And we finish off our time here in Lofoten, where it all began in the little village of A, where we rented a fisherman's hut for the last night. All right, this is it from the Lofoten. We had an amazing time here. See you on the next one.